The Grass Harp is a novel by Truman Capote, first published in 1951. It tells the story of an orphaned boy, Colin Fenwick, and the eccentric, loving people who take him in after the death of his parents. He goes to live with his two elderly cousins, Dolly and Verena Talbo, in a small southern town. Through his eyes, we experience the themes of love, loss, friendship, and the search for one's true place in the world. Dolly Talbo, the kind-hearted, gentle soul of the pair, spends her days creating herbal remedies and a special potion from a secret formula she calls Dropsy Cure. Verena, her sister, is the opposite, a formidable, business-minded woman who controls the family's chain of convenience stores and takes care of the household's finances. Living with his cousins, Colin forms a close bond with Dolly, who becomes a mother figure to him. He also befriends Catherine Creek, a nature-loving African-American servant, and the judge Charlie Cool, an old family friend who lives a quirky lifestyle and offers a sane, insightful perspective on life's troubles. The central conflict occurs when Verena decides to commercialize Dolly's dropsy cure, intending to profit from her sister's homemade remedy. Dolly opposes this plan, as she feels it would dishonor the memory of the cure, which was passed down from an Indian tribe and is meant only to help people, not to be sold for profit. Verena tries to impose her will, leading to a family rift that causes Dolly, Colin, and Catherine to run away and take refuse in an old treehouse in the middle of a wild, overgrown field, the grass harp of the title. The idyllic treehouse serves as a sanctuary and a new household for the trio, where they live in harmony with nature. The grass harp, as Colin learns, is the whispering of the wind through the tall grass, which Dolly believes is the earth communicating with those who are willing to listen. Their simple life is filled with joy and the pure essentials, and it forms a stark contrast to the materialism and pettiness of the town. Their peaceful seclusion doesn't last long as the outside world intrudes on their utopia. Verena, enlisting the aid of the morally dubious local sheriff and a group of townspeople, attempts to bring Dolly back into the fold and take control of the dropsy cure business. Meanwhile, others from town, including a troubled young woman named Maud Riordan, the eccentric retired judge, and a gospel enthusiast named Sister Ida, gravitate towards the treehouse, seeking their own forms of escape and peace. The story shifts from a quiet meditation on nature and life to a more dramatic stand when the makeshift family in the treehouse stands up to the mob Verena has gathered. This conflict leads to a series of comic and poignant confrontations, shedding light on the character's depth and the absurdity of societal norms. In the end, the treehouse dwellers, with their gentle ways, inspire change in the hearts of some who set out to displace them. Verena, moving through her own emotional journey, comes to realize the importance of family and love over money and power. After the confrontation, life returns to a semblance of normalcy, but the characters are forever changed. The judge passes away, leaving Colin with his wisdom and memories. Verena, touched by the time she spends with Dolly in the treehouse, subtly changes her approach to the family business, though she remains a formidable force in the town. The novel concludes with the adult Colin reflecting on the experiences of his youth with Dolly and the others, understanding how they shaped him into the person he has become. The grass harp resonates with the need for acceptance, the wealth found in simple lives, and the idea that the most important lessons come whispering to us, if only we're willing to listen, like the elusive music of the grass harp.